Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chesswise. Today we are going to discuss the topic of opposite bishop and we are going to see how attack can be conducted in an opposite colored bishop's middle game. So let's go to the position quickly and see what happened. This is a game by Botwinik. Botwinik is black. He was the sixth world champion. The main feature of a opposite colored bishop position is that both bishops will be trying to attack the opposing colors. Right? See here the g7 bishop wants to attack b2. So black has a clear cut plan of going queen e7, queen f6. When we see that it's so difficult to defend the point b2. The b3 bishop cannot stop the g7 bishop's attack. So that is why the attacker becomes like a piece of. So white starts with rook d7, he stops qe7. And now what should black do? Try to calculate from here and try to make a plan. See the white king is not that safe because of both queen and bishop being on black squares. So black decides to eliminate the rooks here. So he goes rook a d8. If rook d8 then rook takes d8 and the queen will enter f2 soon. Secondly, if the rook just tries to move to b7, then also we see that the move queen f2 is there and also there will be tactical possibilities based on bishop c3 idea, bc, bc, when see queen a3 check would be threatened. So things would become very dangerous over there. White goes rook h d1, rook takes rook, rook takes rook and now black had calculated further. What will you play as black over here? It is tempting to play the move QG1, but it needs precise calculation. Black went QG1. The first point is now see rook D1 blunder because of bishop B2 check. Let's see that. Now king cannot take B2 because D1 hangs. And if king comes to D2, then just see rook D8 check. And the rook on D1 would be lost. So this is outright winning. Thus white had to play the move KD2. And this is what black was counting on. Instantly see bb2 is mistake right now. Many go for the move bb2 because white has the c very we can say unique kind of move queen e2 and when see rook d1 would repulse the queen from g1 and king might even become safe on the f1 square. So that would again bring new possibilities of defense for white. That is why black's move is far superior. He goes queen f2 check. Useful move. Let us see now what's going on. Firstly, we will see that now KD1 is very bad. Same type of situation, but see BB2 will be very strong. Secondly, Queen E2 is just met by Queen F4 check. So White had to play KD3. And now see, once again, Queen F1 check first. This time the point is that after KD2, Black just goes BB2. And see, Bishop C3, Bishop C1 are threats. Bishop C1 is C on the spot checkmate. So this would win for Black. That is why queen e2 forced. After queen e2 black just takes queen f4. So we can see how the things went just after the trade of rooks. Black's position simply improved. Now see he is up in material, far superior king safety and activity is also somewhat better. It's comparing all the factors we see that black's position should be winning. White tries to fight it out. Let's see the remaining moves quickly. Queen f3, qe5, qb7, a5 protecting the pawn on b4 mainly, queen c6 and now queen takes b2. Black doesn't hesitate grabbing material, king e2 and now queen e5 check. King f1, the king tries to hide but see there is no respite. Black goes h5, rook c7 and now queen f4 check. This is decisive. See the point is with the rook coming to c7, now there is no queen f3 because just the rook on c7 hangs and after king g1 there is a forced mate. Do try to calculate that line. It's not very difficult. Let's see. After kg1, bd4 check, king h1. First, qc1 check. Very important move. Pushing the king back to h2. And now see, queen g1 check. Same we could have done with qf1 as well. kg3, queen f2 check. And it's game over. King goes back to h2 and mating to b5 check, kh1, queen f1 checkmates. Thus, White couldn't play kg1, thus white had to play ke2. Now bd4, black moves the mating net around the white king. It's game over. Rook c8, white tries to trade the rook but it's too slow. Queen e3 check, king d1, bishop c3, it's time to reside almost. White tried rook f8 check, q 
he takes separate and in the game he resigned let us see why because qd6 check trying to block d2 then just kg7 and after qd3 we can see that there is no way to guard d2 and e1 both so see queen e1 mates that is the reason why it resigned after king f8 so this position was not very simple but i still feel as compared to many opposite colored bishop attacks this was not that complicated but do try to study this game two three times to grasp the basic concepts i hope you found this lesson useful and instructive do let me know in the comments below thanks for your time